Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, particular video in which we are going to discuss in detail about how you can apply for uh, the internship opportunity by Shell. So uh, as we have announced, Shell is hiring 2024 batch students for its internship. So 2024 batch as in uh, the students who are going to graduate in the year 2024. So you might be currently in your third year you have just entered third year or maybe you have just are about to uh, complete your second year okay so uh, in this video we are going to check step by step process of applying for this particular opportunity okay so uh, i'm going to share in detail i'm going to share you the application link as well okay so let us uh, check so before we proceed, let me tell you that Talent Battle is a one-stop platform for placement preparation. We help students to prepare for aptitude, coding, interview preparation, and also help students to upskill themselves with latest technologies like AI, machine learning, data science, data analytics, and full stack development. Okay. So we also constantly update a lot of uh, off-campus opportunities and internship updates. So previously also we had updated about Microsoft internship, Salesforce internship, even Morgan Stanley had uh, started hiring interns for 2024 batch. So Morgan Stanley is still hiring. So currently we are going to update about the Shell internship program. So let me just uh, visit this particular blog page wherein we have updated the opportunity. So at the end of this particular bl blog page, you can find the application link, which will take you to the official website of the company. So this is the official website wherein the company Shell has announced it internship opportunity for 2024 batch. Okay. So let us uh, just go through. They have just updated the opportunity on 15th of September. Okay. It is a full-time uh, internship opportunity basically. Okay. So uh, here you can check more details about what is the role. It is a 10 to 12 weeks internship basically. And it will be in the project or uh, you can say business area of your choice. So whenever I'm going to apply the, for this particular internship now, you'll get a choice to apply for the internship in your area of interest or the domain of your uh, interest. Okay. So what is the eligibility is basically if you have a bachelor's master's or PhD degree, then you can apply, but you should be in your penultimate year of study. So penultimate is the pre-final year. That is, you should be in third year. So third year, it means that you are going to graduate in the year 2024. Okay. And you should have strong communication and presentation skills, and you should be a citizen of India. Uh, the job location is going to be Bengaluru or Chennai. Okay. So you can click on apply. Okay. So once you click on apply, you'll come on this particular page. Okay. So you have, you might not have account previously on this particular website. So you need to create account. So click on create account, enter your email ID, password, and just create your account first. Okay. So once you click on uh, create account, you'll come on this particular page. So there are multiple options which you can use to apply. Okay. So if you have got a completely updated LinkedIn profile, you can, you, you can apply with LinkedIn or you can apply manually. Okay. So I'll click on apply manually. Since most of the students currently don't have their LinkedIn profile updated, so you can click on apply manually. So basically there are four to five pages which you need to fill. So we'll check step by step what you need to fill. So first question is how did you hear about us? So here uh, maybe you can uh, enter talent battle okay, or maybe you can uh, enter social media. Okay. Or maybe, uh, through your college. Okay. So wherever you have heard this particular opportunity from, you can enter that. Okay. Uh, country will be India, write your first name, middle name, last name. Okay. So I think only the first name, uh, is compulsory. Other are not mandatory because only the, um, uh, fields marked with a star are mandatory. Okay. So you can fill out this particular data. If you have got some preferred name, you can enter that fill in your address, city, postal code. Okay. And, uh, phone mobile, enter your mobile number. Okay. And just click on save and continue. Okay. Okay. So let me just fill it and we'll go to the next page. Just click on save and continue. And then you will come to this particular page. Okay. So here you need to enter your work experience. Now, if you are a fresher, if you don't have any previous work experience or internship experience, just leave this blank. It is not mandatory. Now, the most important part is you need to enter your school or university. That is your university name or your college name, basically. Okay. And they have given one instruction that if you are not based in US or Canada, please enter NA that is not applicable in the GPA field. So here is a GPA field. You can enter not applicable over here. 
so now school or university this is a uh, basically a little bit slow in searching your college name now let me just try to search one particular college name so for example k i i t and i have to hit the tab button otherwise it will not search so i'll hit tab button so i have got that particular university name okay now if your university name is not present okay then what you can do so you can type others okay other and just click on tab so you'll get others option and click on others it will get selected okay so first you can search with your college name uh, let me search college of engineering pune for example okay so it is taking some random college let me just enter some of the um, you can say initial letters so let me say suppose k i okay so if i just type k i and click on tab i am getting so many options okay so they have just put all the colleges in the single uh, list uh, even the foreign colleges are also there indian colleges are also in this particular list okay so every uh, so all colleges in the single list they have put in okay so let us just check yeah see so if i type this bangalore university i am bangalore other colleges of bangalore every so so you instead of just try to search if not then you can put others okay you need to select degree so degree will be either bachelor's masters whichever degree you are currently pursuing so i'll select bachelor's in field again you can select for maybe engineering if i type engineering then uh, again click tab if you click tab it will search okay so engineering you can enter your field of engineering electronics electrical all branch students are basically eligible for this particular opportunity okay so you can do that this will be not applicable since they have already instructed here if you are not based in us or canada please enter any in not applicable in gpa field okay now from and to this is your uh, graduation so if you are a 2024 batch definitely this start is going to be 2020 and end is going to be 2024 okay maybe if you are a diploma candidate then this will become 2021 and 2024 okay enter this all these details and click on save and continue so let me just add Okay, I'll select this. So field of study, suppose engineering. So I'll enter electronics engineering. Okay. And I'll, um, yeah, one more thing which I forgot, you need to upload your resume over here. So once you upload resume, then click on save and continue. Okay. So once you upload resume, click on save and continue. Okay. Now, uh, here, this is a very important question. Okay. Uh, application question one of two. So what they're asking, are you seeking a permanent full-time employment at Shell? So basically what you need to select, you need to select no. Why? Because just check here. No, I am enrolled full-time in a school and actively seeking to complete my degree. Since you have, are yet to complete your degree, you need to select this option. They have also mentioned this application is intended for candidates seeking post-graduation full employment, full-time employment opportunities and candidates interested in internship opportunities. Okay. So you have to select no. Okay. Here, are you pursuing bachelor's masters? Yes. Are you a government official? I would select no. Are you immediate family members of government official? I will select no. If yes, then you can select yes. Are you currently employed or being employed at Shell's auditor EY? No. So this will be also no. Okay. I have no shell work experience do you have a legal right to work in the countries you are applying to yes do you now or in future require sponsorship a visa or a work permit no because it is in india so you do not see if you are indian so now this is very important okay now uh before you we go ahead with the next question or if we before we go ahead and select this particular answer just check this okay so these are various business areas shell is providing internship opportunities in so three main areas are technical commercial and functional okay mm -hmm. now in each of these if you check this is a pdf which uh, link i will share uh, already i have shared it on this particular link so if you check this pdf is available over here okay you'll get this particular pdf on this pdf what they have given is for each and every domain they have told which 
branch students can basically apply or basically it is that particular opportunity is related to which branch so if you check downstream technical what exactly happens in that particular field what are the job titles in that particular domain and uh, which uh, branch students can apply basically that they have given okay so if we come down if you check integrated gas renewables and energy solutions these these are the job titles these are the people who can basically apply for this okay now if you check uh, see technical and functional engineering students are more related to technical and functional mba students would be more related to commercial because i'll just go to commercial part okay let me just show you yeah so see here downstream commercial if you check marketing bachelors supply chain management okay finance bachelor so this is morely related to commercial and business part more related to mba people okay uh if we go down to just i'll go down okay information and digital technology so here computer science students information technology electrical engineering students so you can apply for this particular role as well so just go through this particular pdf and based on your particular interest you can decide your uh, domain for internship so currently you can either select technical or commercial commercial if you are interested or a pure technical role okay click on save and continue okay now this is the pdf document basically so you can go through this pdf document and you have to give five preferences okay before giving your preferences just go through this particular pdf and check for which area which branch students are there what are the job titles they have given a detailed description as well okay so human resources mba students okay so each and every field uh, opportunity is there so just go through that and give your preferences accordingly okay so once you give this five preferences click on save and continue so currently i will give my first preference maybe if i am a csc student i'll go for information and digital technology okay then i can give maybe downstream technical then i can give upstream technical because if i want pure technical then i need to select these preferences maybe my last preference uh, would be uh, upstream commercial maybe okay save and continue now uh, what is your gender we need to select gender okay you have to select your date of birth nationality will be indian okay so just enter these details and click on save and continue now uh, one more important point now one more important point while selecting date of birth if you select calendar i didn't find any option directly to jump to previous year so this is very tedious instead click here and enter your date of birth okay so that will be better so here i can select india and click on save and continue okay now it is showing you a review of all the information which you have entered just go through that and click on submit okay so now uh, here congratulations thank you for your application we'll review it carefully and get back to you so all the further process if your applications get shortlisted you will get in your email okay so here you can check uh, active this is the job title you have applied for your application status is shown so this is the way you can apply for a uh, shell internship okay okay now most important part guys if you are a 2024 batch student then make sure you follow us on instagram as well already 11000 plus 2024 batch students are following us on instagram because we give a lot of updates placement preparation tips on our instagram page especially for 2024 so the link for this particular page is there in the description of this video so we had updated about uh, morgan stanley internship some of the important reels okay so these reels are very very uh, informative if you check what are the reels so uh, what is the package provided how to get placed with a cdc greater than 7 to 8 lpa some shortcut methods tips uh, tips and tricks for aptitude so we post a lot of things we had even updated about uh, how can you explain your project in an interview important concepts of technical interviews okay so here you can check we had updated about internship of salesforce microsoft so make sure you follow us on instagram and thank you for watching this video also subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon for any further video update by talent battle thank you and apply for the internship opportunity bye bye